Dear students, today we are going to see fourth standard term two social science. Those who are not having a book, come and get a book from school students. Are you ready to see and learn the social science? Yes. Take a unit two. Today, which unit we study? Yes, unit two. We already see yesterday, no? We will see today unit two physical features of Tamil Nadu. We already see this first page, and I could uh, give the homework of activity. By bring the political map. Some of the students of send the homework today. Very good students. Those who are incomplete, try to finish it fast, and it is your uh, helpful for your studies afterwards. Okay, students. So you could uh, write homework and regularly send the WhatsApp group of school. Okay, students. Next, we could see the page number hundred and eight. Today, we are going to see landscape of Tamil Nadu. What is the see? What we see now? Landscape of landscape of Tamil Nadu. The landscape of Tamil Nadu can be divided into four categories. Underline the word four categories. The landscape of Tamil Nadu was uh, divided into where? How many? Four categories. Very good. What are they? Mountains, plateaus, plains, coast. Mountains, plateaus, plains, coast. M O U N T A I N S. Mountains, plateaus. P L A T E A U S. Plateaus. T L A I N S. Plains. C O A S T. Coast. Mountains, plateaus, plains, coast. First, we could see what mountains. Mountains mean what? Ma. Mountains means Malayal. Okay. What are the mountains were located in Tamil Nadu? We could see now. Okay. Tamil Nadu is the only state in Tha in India which has both which has both the Western Ghats and the Eastern Ghats. The meet at the Nilagiri Hills. In Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu is the only state of India. Okay, is a both uh, what uh, Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. Okay, they meet at the Nilagiri Hills. They two are meet at Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats meet at where Nilagiri Hills. Okay, it was also located located in Tamil Nadu. Dotta Betta is the highest peak in Nilagiri Hills. Dotta Betta is where highest peak, highest peak in Nilagiri Hills. Uh, Tamil Nadu has various hill station like Ooty. You also went to Ooty, Kodaikanal. No, likewise the hill stations means called Ooty, Kodaikanal, Kolli Hills, Kothagiri, and Yerkard. Okay, these are the hilly regions. Okay, which were located in Tamil Nadu itself. Okay, these are the hilly regions which have uh, mountains. The eastern Ghats do not get enough rainfall. Unlike the Western Ghats, which receives lot of rainfall, Eastern Ghats were what? Not enough, enough. Ah, uh, rainfall. That all of a irkaad. In Western Ghats, what? We receives lot of rainfall. Na rain rainfall irkum. The plantations grow in these Ghats, including tea, coffee, and spices. In these hills region, we could grow what plantations? What are the plantations? Tea, coffee, spices. These are the uh, plantations are grown in this hills region. Okay, and this is the gates of Tamil Nadu. So, sorry, gates of South India. Okay, this is the Dotta Betta. This is the Nilagiri. This is the Eastern Ghats. This is the Western Ghats. Okay, in the Eastern Ghats there are not enough rainfall. In Western Ghats lot of rainfall. Okay, Dotta Betta is the highest peak in Nilagiri district. Okay, Nilagiri hills. Okay. Next one, Tamil Nadu has rich flora. Flora and fauna means what? Flora means tawarangal. Sorry, ah, cherry gal, cherry kodi gal. Fauna means bilangi nangal. Okay, wah bilangi gal lah. Wild rada ni rich. Tamil Nadu ni nariya itu rukke. Abi ni sorang tawarangal lo bilangi nangal lo rukke. Mudu Malai Wildlife Sanctuary, Indira Gandhi Wildlife Sanctuary, and National Park in Ane Malai are in the West Ghats of state. There are A variety of plant spices found in them. The Kurunji shrub in the most special of them, Ali Kurunji flowers blossom once in a twelve year. 
12 years okay 12 years once only the kurunji flower will blossom we already know that okay okay students tamil nadu vandu edhula romba rich ah irukuda தாவரங்கள்லயும் விலங்கினங்களும் ரொம்ப அதிகமா இருக்குது முதுமலை ஒயில் சானிச்சரி மீன்ஸ் சரணாலயம் ஓகே விலங்கினோட சரணாலயம் முதுமலையில இருக்கிறது இந்திரா காந்தி ஒயில்ட் லைஃப் சானிச்சரி ஓகே இந்திரா காந்தி சானிச்சரி இருக்கிறது அடுத்தது நான் நேஷனல் பார்க் என் ஆனைமலை ஆனைமலையில என்ன இருக்கு நேஷனல் பார்க்கே இருக்கிறது ஓகே அங்கதான் என்ன அந்த விலங்கினங்கள் எல்லாம் இருக்கிறாங்க ஆர் இந்த வெஸ்டர்ன் காட்ஸ் இதெல்லாம் எங்க இருக்கிறது வெஸ்டர்ன் காட்ஸ்ல இருக்கு ஓகே என்ன ஸ்டேட் நம்ம ஸ்டேட்லதான் இருக்கு There are variety of plants, spices found in them. Naraya spices on a spices la kulaya la velaya radha the ingeda. Kurunji shrub. Kurunji malay la na vala radha. Ali kurunji flower blossom once in a 12 years. 12 years kore dara radha na the kurunji pu pu kudabin solo la yada da. You also try to this answers. Okay. Where do the western gods and eastern gods meet? Okay, students. You should try to answer. Name any two wildlife sanctuaries in. the western gods of tamil nadu you should answer these two questions okay tomorrow we we'll see the second topic plateaus there are three plateaus in tamil nadu namely barmahal plateau coimbatore plateau and madurai plateau underline these three plateaus there are many small hills between these plateaus okay there are many small small hills or between these plateaus chennimalai is one among those hills in erode chennimalai where in e road chenni malai vare e road okay students first second topic is the plateaus first topic we already see what mountains second topic is plateaus there are three plateaus barmahal plateau coimbatore and madurai plateau there are many hills between the plateaus and chenni malai is where e road is a those hills among one of them okay third topic is plains plains is samaveliyana or edam abin eduthom okay plains na enna plains in tamil nadu can be divided into river plains and coastal plains plains in tamil nadu can be divided into river plains and coastal plains okay river plains and coastal plains underline the words first one river plains we could see the river plains first so river plains okay students river palar cheyar pennar and velar from the northern plains the middle river plain is formed by kaveri and tributaries River Vaiga and Dhamira Barani from the Northern Plains. Okay, Pala, Chayar, Pennar and Velar were Northern Plains. They are what? They are Northern Plains. Okay, the middle river is Kaveri, formed by Kaveri and uh, tributaries. Okay, the river Vaiga and Dhamira Barani were Southern Plains. Okay, Pala, Chayar, Pennar and Velar in Northern Plains. Vaiga and Dhamira Barani in Southern Plains. Okay. River Cheyar is tributary of River Palar. It is a seasonal river that flows through the district of Tiruvannamalai. Okay, the River Cheyar is tributary river. Okay, Palar and a seasonal river. This is a seasonal river of where district of Tiruvannamalai. Underline the Tiruvannamalai. This is the river and waterfalls of Tamil Nadu. Okay, students. This is the river and waterfalls of Tamil Nadu. You should uh, see this river. River map. Okay. and second one b coastal plains coastal plains of tamil nadu are also called a cholamandalam plains which extend from chennai to kanyakumari what we called cholamandalam plains and extended to where chennai to kanyakumari next fourth one what are we see three points we see mountains plateau plains now we see coast okay coast Tamil Nadu has the third longest coastline in India. Coastline, how many? Which longest? Third longest in India. Okay. Ah, uh, in the coastal region extends from Chennai to Kanyakumari. Chennai to Kanyakumari, it will extend. Pamban Island forms a part of Ramanathapuram. It is separates Gulf of Mannar and Palk Strait. Okay, it separates where? Gulf of Mannar and Palk Strait. Okay, thirteen districts share the coastline. There are thirteen districts. How many districts? Thirteen districts share the coastline. Okay, the notable beaches of Tamil Nadu are. You also like the beaches, no? We spend more time in beaches, and we also like to uh, what? Dip the sea river, no? Sea or water, no? Like that waves of sea. Okay. Marina Beach, you already know. Okay, it was located in Chennai. 
the second longest urban beach in world rameshwaram beach is a famous uh, for its beautiful view kanyakumari beach is a famous for its beautiful views of sunrise and sunset over the water these three beaches already you know marina beach rameshwaram beach kanyakumaram beach kanyakumari beach okay it was uh, three beaches are located in where in our tamil nadu only so students what we see today landscape of tamil nadu they are divided into four categories mountains plateaus plains and coast we see mountains and we see plateaus plains and also the coasts okay coast okay you also see the map of waterfalls coastal areas and the gates of south india you should read these pages 108 and 109 thoroughly and you also what try to answer these two questions and send the answers in through the whatsapp group tomorrow so students try to answer it okay students thank you have a nice day